Sarah Cowood was diagnosed with stage 1 breast cancer last month. After undergoing a second mammogram and an ultrasound, the 50-year-old was told they were going to do a biopsy. It was shortly after that Sarah was told the lump in her breast wasn't a cyst and was the dreaded C. The news, she says, made her have sleepless nights as she feared the worst. Sarah told The Sun, I was like, what happens if this is aggressive, what happens if this is the beginning of the end? I did the lying in bed at night, not watching my children grow up thing. I always think cancer seems like a slow death. It's like being chucked out of the party early. Despite her worries, the surgeon told her it wasn't aggressive and not much of a problem. Hugh Grant left sobbing as Queen's beloved pony attends funeral on treating what she refers to as the Carlsberg of breast cancers, she added, it's just a lumpectomy, radiotherapy, then a drug called tamoxifen, which is a hormone blocker, for 5 to 10 years. Sarah went on to say she felt really lucky that it isn't an aggressive form. The mother of two's diagnosis has meant she's had to come off of HRT, prescribed for the menopause. On dealing with her hormones, she said, it's a weird kind of hot. It's like a furnace inside you. Her mood, Sarah added, seems to be okay, but has been experiencing brain fog and has forgotten her daughter Autumn's name twice. Yesterday, the presenter gave fans an update about her progress on Instagram. From her hospital bed, she revealed she was in recovery and thinking of bad jokes to tell. Sarah followed up her post pulling a shocked face to the camera after having a turquoise color wee. Dot Martin Lewis explains his caught on camera GMB moment as fans react, revealed Sylvester Stallone posts pic with wonderful wife amid divorce claims, Instagram Ulrika Yonson urges UK to learn from Princess Charlotte and George, reaction, she went on to say she hoped her interview encouraged others to go and get their breasts checked. After speaking out about her diagnosis on social media, she has received support from the likes of Keith Lemon and Denise Van Alten. The latter commented, you're brilliant and I adore you. The presenter is mum to Hunter, 10, and 9-year-old daughter Autumn, who she shares with husband Andy Mary. At the height of her fame, she was best known for presenting the BBC Children's Saturday flagship morning show Live and Kicking. In 1995, she was a presenter for Nickelodeon and moved on to co-present The Girly Show. She has also hosted Live and Kicking and Top of the Pops. Nowadays, her main focus is being a mum and fronting her menopause podcast Irregular Bitches with Pal Lumigil.